to solve a three-dimensional trig problem of the nature that I'm going to describe here. For example, to measure the width of a river, Pat used a tree on the opposite bank of the river to help with her measurements. M is a point directly opposite a tree, and P is 7 metres to the left of M. The angle of elevation of the top of the tree from P measured 17 degrees. Q is another point 5 metres to the right of M and the angle of elevation of the top of the tree from Q was 19 degrees. In this diagram we have two right angle triangles that are in the air and two right angle triangles that are on the river. We would use these triangles to find the width of the river. In any three-dimensional trig problems, the first thing you need to identify is identify the right angles in your diagram. Include all the measurements in your diagram. PM was 7 metres, MQ was 5 metres, 17 degrees is the angle of elevation of the top of the tree from P, 19 degrees is the angle of elevation of the top of the tree from Q. The height of the tree we do not know so we let it be H. The third step in any three-dimensional trig problem is to identify all the measurements on the horizontal plane and in this case it is on the river. So let this be X and let this be Y. From the diagram we can see using the right angle triangle that 10 19 degrees is equal to H over Y and 10 17 degrees equals H over X. Therefore Y must equal H over 10 19 degrees and X must equal H divided by 10 17 degrees. Using, using triangle of OPM and Pythagoras' theorem, we can say that W squared equals X squared take away 7 squared. And using triangle OMQ with Pythagoras' theorem, we can say that W squared is also equal to y squared take away twin, uh, 5 squared. Substituting for x and y, we will then have two equations with two unknowns. And we need to solve those two equations to find w. Substituting for x and y into the equations A and B, we get W squared equals H squared on tan squared 17, take away 49, and W squared equals H squared on tan squ squared 19, take away 25. Multiplying every term in the first equation by tan squared 17, we get H squared equals W squared tan squared 17 degrees plus 49 tan squared 17 degrees and multiplying the second equation by tan squared 19 we get 
h squared equals w squared 10 squared 19 degrees plus 25 10 squared 17 degrees. We can now equate these two equations and solve for w squared. squared 19 plus 25 10 squared rearranging this equation we get that w squared into 10 squared 17 take away 10 squared 19 degrees is equal to 25 10 squared 19 degrees take away 49 10 squared 17 degrees therefore w squared is 25 10 squared 19 take away 49 10 squared 17 all over 10 squared 17 degrees minus 10 squared 19 degrees to solve for w, we find the square root of this expression and use the calculator to find the approximate value for the width of the river.